that right there is my spindle brake. And I've wedged a piece of aluminum in there to lock that brake in place so my spindle can't turn. I took a broken end mill and ground it square, put a relief angle in it and a little back rake, and I'm using that as my cutter. This setup is working like a shaper machine in that I just go straight across, the spindle doesn't turn, the spindle is locked. I'm taking three thousandths of an inch depth of cut each time at 20 inches a minute. I'm getting a nice little chip on the front. I figure that's all my little cutter can handle. I've got my three jaw vise locked in here and I'm blowing a little bit of air on it when I'm going along to keep the chip out. I'm not using any coolant. Let's uh, see what happens here. Okay, to square up my cuts on this block, I have to rotate it. I don't want to mess with the uh, angle of the tool, so I just stick a granite uh, 90 in here, hold my uh, precision square, and then just uh, sight down the line to get it nice and square. That looks really good. And I just tighten up the vise, I mean the chuck. I'm good to go the other way. This is what they look like once I've uh, finished cutting the grooves. And they went in here with a file and just took off a bunch of the burrs. So now the next step will be lapping them. 